Gaming on a Mac has never been easier, and with today's video, I'll show you how you can emulate your favorite PS2 games with this simple tutorial. First thing you need to do is go to PCSX2.net, and from the main page, download the Mac OS installer. You can save the file anywhere on your Mac. I saved it on my desktop for this demonstration. Once you have the saved file, you will need to extract it. After extracting, click on the launcher file. Now you may get a security message blocking you from opening the file. Simply hold the control button on your keyboard and right click to open the file. You should now be able to open it without any issues. Once you have the launcher open, you should see a screen like this. Now the next step involves setting up a BIOS for your emulator. Without a BIOS, you will not be able to play any games. Now legally, you're supposed to extract the BIOS from your original PS2. However, with a quick Google search, you can find them online. Once you have the BIOS downloaded, go to settings and then click on the BIOS button. From here, select the folder in which you have the BIOS saved for the emulator to access. And guys, if you find videos like this helpful, please consider subscribing to my channel for more content like this. Now next, we will set up our emulation settings by going to the emulation menu. I recommend leaving the default settings as is. You can play around with these settings later depending on what kind of performance you're getting on your Mac. In the next step, we will set up our graphics settings by going to the graphics menu. If you're running an M-based processor, like an M1, M2, or M3, make sure you have metal selected as your render. You can also adjust the resolution as well as the aspect ratio to your liking. Now, in order to save games, you'll need to set up a memory card profile. You can do this by going to the memory card menu and selecting your save game directory. Next, we will set up our controller. For this demonstration, I'll be using an Xbox controller, but any Bluetooth gamepad will work. First step involves going to your Bluetooth settings. In the case for an Xbox controller, hold the sync button on the back to pair it to your MacBook. The gamepad should show up on the Bluetooth menu. Simply click on the connect button to connect the controller to the Mac. Next, go to the controller menu in the emulation settings to map your controller. Once you're done mapping all the buttons and analog sticks, hit save to save the profile and then hit close. The last step involves setting up your game library. To do this, go to the game list menu. From here, select the directory where you have your PS2 ROM saved. The emulator will automatically update the game list as you add more games to your directory. Once you're done, on the main menu, your complete library will show up. Here, you'll be able to see the compatibility rating on how well the games run on the emulator as not all games run perfectly. Now you're ready to play some games. Simply double click on the game you wanna play and the emulator will launch it. Now you can play all the PS2 classics from the comfort and portability of your MacBook or Mac. And if you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel for more content around gaming and tech.